Here are some of the effects that you can add to your text on Canva. Hey, it's Maria here with Esatino Media, and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. Okay, so these Canva effects are free and easy to apply and can really help make your design stand out uh, without having to get into any AI tools. These are just the basics that are included with Canva Free and Canva Pro. So first you would start with your text box here in the middle. If you wanted to add a text box from scratch, we can delete this. You would just click text, heading, and let's keep it to our motivational saying here. So you got this, and then we would center it here in the middle. Uh, let's make it something bolder just so you can get a better idea of what the effects will be. Okay, so you've got your text here, you got this, you just come up here to the top and you click on effects. And right now we've got none. So there's a list here of the effects that you can use. And then there's also the curve that you can use at the bottom. So we'll start at the top. There is shadow. And you can see here there's all these toggles here and ways for you to adjust the intensity. You know, there's definitely lots for you to play around with here. Um, for example, transparency. So you can make it a lot darker. You can pick the color down here if you want it to be, you know, beige or green just to stand out a little bit more. You can blur it so it looks a bit more smoky than an actual shadow. And then you can play around with the direction as well. So there's lots to play around with here. Keep in mind with any of these effects, you can only choose one. So you can't have a shadow and a lift and a splice. You can only have one or the other. So if I move to lift here, it completely gets rid of anything I had adjusted with shadow and it also doesn't save it. So keep that in mind. So if you're gonna switch over here, you're gonna lose whatever your work you've done here and you're gonna move over to lift. Um, so only one effect at a time. And then here again, you can play around with the intensity. In some of them, you can pick colors, other ones you can't. So with the lift, you can't pick the color. Hollow, also very straightforward. And again, you can toggle here for how thin or how thick you want it. Splice is another cool one here. Again, move the directions around. You can offset the actual splice and then change the thickness. And outline is one that I use pretty often because you can actually adjust the color you want the outline to be. So if you want a cool blue or a cool red, then you can do that. You can make it pretty thick as well. So that's a fun one. Okay, and the echo effect. Again, another straightforward one. It shows you how much you can offset it. Glitch is a really cool one. You can actually pick from two different colors for glitch. And with neon, it's really cool because if you change the color of the font, you'll get a bit of a different effect. So if we wanted to change this black to, let's say, red, we'll change it all, then the neon will look a little bit different depending on the color that you're going for. And then even with a white font with a darker background, you get another really cool effect on this. And then background is another cool one that I've used fairly often. You can actually adjust the transparency of the color of the background. Let's make it a bit darker so you can see it better. You can adjust the spread and then you can actually adjust the roundness as well. So you can make it a perfect rectangle. You can make it more circular, which is nice. Another favorite of mine is the curve. So you can see here that it actually automatically adjusted it from being on three separate lines like this to being in a row because it knows that I want to curve it. So you can adjust it by playing around with the curve here. We'll move it to the middle so you can actually see better what I'm doing. But you can make it a tighter circle. You can also add shapes to this to make sure you're following around whatever shape you want to be doing. Really straightforward tools here that are included with Canva free. I know a lot of people are into the AI stuff, which we will definitely be doing a separate video on, but these are just some of the basic text effects that you can use when you are creating whatever it is that you're creating on Canva. Feel free to play around with the intensity and the different effects. These are super simple, but these effects can make a big difference in your designs. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments or by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.